Welcome back and thanks to the end. This is an interesting little project I had recently. I received a work order to go and inspect an apartment and figure out how rats were getting into it and then of course figure out a way of keeping them out. So I went and had a look and it was obvious right from the very beginning what the problem was. They had a dryer vent that went obviously from the inside of the apartment where the dryer was uh, through the wall and into a back alley. Now the vent itself was about six or eight inches uh, above the ground and this back alley was also where they stored all the garbage for a number of apartments. So there's uh, three or four garbage cans there and there is also uh, the, all the recycles and uh, also for compost as well. So you have this basic the best lure in the universe for attracting rats and then you have the dryer vent there and the dryer vent didn't have any screen over it so they could have a snack and then go right inside and keep warm. So I decided the best thing to do was build a cage to fit over that vent and to that end I picked up uh, this uh, mesh. This is 18 gauge. It's the thickest one I could get and as you can tell by how I'm having to hang on to this you need to be really careful when you take that original wire off because it just wants to unravel and if you let it do that most likely you're going to end up with cut hands because uh, like I said it will unravel very very quickly with a fair amount of force and this is not really sanded properly or anything it is just cut and some, they're very sharp so I'm going to unravel this uh, a little bit and I'm going to put a couple of zip ties on to keep it from unraveling the rest of the way and then I'm going to straighten out a section uh, the vent piece that I need is about seven inches wide uh, so that's all I really need to start off with and I am going to uh, just put this uh, cut this with a pair of snips now another way of doing this I could have gone over to uh, the metal cutting bandsaw and uh, snipped it through that way but again I'm trying to uh, do these projects without you know <coughs> using too many tools uh, so that if you had to do this sort of thing yourself uh, you didn't really need to buy anything special so this is just a cheap pair of snips I've had around forever and I'm just going to cut through this and that's it that's all I need to do for that this is more than long enough for the uh, main pieces for this and I'm just going to now um, bend them around so when I get there it is a brick wall so what I'm going to do is uh, drill and use tap cons uh, to anchor this to the wall I mean it's probably a bit more secure than it needs to be but then again I don't want a raft to go back and do this and there's literally no way that uh, rats are going to be able to uh, you know, undo this or pull it apart because it's going to be securely anchored so all you have to do remember when you're doing this is you have to properly flip it so that is going to be the part that's sticking up about an inch there right now that is going to be where it attaches the wall and this is going to be the riser that goes uh, up over the vent and then of course it's going to go along and then back down so yes like I say you just have to remember to flip it properly it doesn't take much in the way of effort to do so but you have to remember to do that or you're going to have to uh, obviously bend in the opposite direction I didn't want to bend this too much because I mean it is a very sturdy wire as you can see but if you uh, bend it like this and then uh, reverse the direction you end up with uh, you know weakening it so now what I've done is you can see uh, right where my hand is now this is gonna be the top and now I have to bend it back down to where it's gonna get uh, attached to the wall so that's why I have uh, flipped this and put the board I'm pounding on here uh, right against the edge of uh, my table that way uh, it can bend down past where it needs to be this is longer than it needs I mean uh, it is uh, well four inches down to uh, where the wall is going to be and then it's just a matter of putting another inch for where the tap cons are going to hold it onto the wall so the rest of this gets snipped off so there you go that's going to fit on there like that and then all I need to do is uh, do the last bend and then snip off the excess and then off camera what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the two pieces which are going to be the ends uh, which are going to uh, finish off the cage and that's it that's uh, all that needs to be done like I said <coughs> this is uh, very straightforward and easy to do uh, but it's one of the things I want to show you because I get a lot of these projects and most of them I can't show you because they're either in someone's apartment or um, 
I need my hands to actually do it while I'm doing it, and I can't really set up a camera. I probably could, and I may do that later on, but for the moment I'm just going to uh, do these ones here which I'm putting together in a shop. So you're going to snip off the excess. Then off camera, like I said, I'm going to cut the two end pieces. Uh, this is one of them. And then to make this user friendly, I am just going to sand off uh, the sharp little nibby bits that are on there. And that's uh, all the pre-assemblies that I need to do. And then now it's just a simple matter of sticking this together. Now, don't go thinking this is the way I'm putting this together. This is just my way of holding it together to get it into place so I can actually do what I need to do. These are zip ties, and obviously a rack can chew these in no time whatsoever. Uh, but it's very difficult to do what I'm going to do to actually hold this together uh, without uh, you know putting it at least in uh, proper form first. And that's what the zip ties are going to do for me. They're going to hold it where it needs to be so that I can use actual steel wire uh, to hold this together. The, the part that's actually going to hold it. I'll leave the zip ties on because... Well, they are, well, they're not in the way, and they don't actually cause any problems. And like I said, it's just something that a rat could chew through in two seconds. But the steel wire is a completely different story, of course. So I'm going to show you the first few here, and then I'm going to uh, do the rest off camera. And then let's put the proper, what's actually going to hold this together. Uh, let's do that part. So there you go. This is uh, the cage well, in the proper form it's going to fit in. That wire you saw there was the wire that was holding all that together uh, in the roll, and I figured that was just way too thin a gauge. This is steel wire, and this wire is actually older than I am. My dad picked this up, uh, I have no idea when, a very, very, very long time ago, and when he uh, moved into an apartment, uh, he basically got rid of a lot of his tools, I picked up a bunch of them, and this spool of wire I picked up uh, from him more than 30 years ago. And it is steel wire. It's, like, it's not coated with anything. And it's been in my fish room in my shop for, like I said, more than 30 years. And there isn't a single sign of any rust on it whatsoever. This is very, very uh, high quality. I don't know if I can even replace this at this point in time. Because obviously, you know, things are not made as well as they used to be. So there you go. This is just basically, it looks exactly what it is. I'm just sewing these together. Now, if I had a welding unit, I could weld these together, but this is more than strong enough for this little project, and I can't really, you know, spend too much time doing this, and I'm not very fond of welding to begin with anyway, so this is, like I said, more than sufficient for this little job, and like I said, that steel wire is much stronger than even the mesh here, and it will definitely hold it all together. So there you go. And off camera again, I will do the other side. And that's it. That is uh, the whole project. I wanted to show you it in place, uh, but it had snowed a bucket of snow <laughs> the day before I went to do this. And I was behind in time, and I just simply forgot. If I remember, I will uh, include it in a video coming up. Uh, showing you what it looks like, but basically just imagine this thing uh, tap conned onto a wall, like screwed on, and uh, this covering a dryer vent. It's just a standard dryer vent, and there's nothing really uh, difficult or special about that part of it. It took literally two minutes to install this. It was just a matter of uh, drilling the holes into the concrete, well, the brick actually, and then of course uh, just screwing them into place. So there you go. That is half of it. I'll do the rest off camera, uh, just so this isn't too long. And there you go. That is the end result. The wire really holds it together properly, and it's now all set and ready to put in place. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know if this is the kind of video you like. Uh, leave comments. Let me know about that sort of stuff as well. And I'll see you in the next video. And Bye for now.